Hey everybody, Andrew Edwards here for another edition of Bleeding Edge TV, and today I'm giving you a look at Poppy. Poppy is a Kickstarter project started by a couple of guys here in the Seattle area. What it does is it allows you to take your iPhone, slip it into Poppy, and create and view 3D images and movies. It's pretty amazing. It's on Kickstarter right now. They met their goal in nine hours, and kick the Kickstarter project ends this Friday. So you have just a few more days to get in on it if you want to get your own Poppy. So I catch up with Ethan and Joe, the co-creators of Poppy, and give you a first-hand look at what it's all about. Before we jump in, we just want to thank our sponsor, as always, Monster. Monster allows us to bring you videos such as this one, and they make, among other things, some pretty cool consumer level headphones. For example, I've got these right here. These are the Monster DNA headphones. They come in a multitude of colors. I think they're over 20 colors at this point. This particular one is called White Tuxedo, the white with the black accents on the inside. So as you can see, it's got a unique triangular shape. It makes them stick out compared to some other headphones with the, the typical circular ear cups. Head on over to monsterproducts.com to check out the full assortment of headphones that they have to offer. Aside from DNA, you can get the Inspiration, Diamond Tears, Diesel Vector. There's plenty of, plenty of them out there. So check them out, monsterproducts.com. Now, like we said, we're going to give you your first look at the story behind Poppy. Stay tuned. <laughs> This is Poppy. That is Poppy right there. So and this is your iPhone, just an ordinary iPhone, and um, you just slip it in. And you can see right here, I'm, I'm showing a dual image there that we've captured using Poppy. Okay. I'm gonna play it. That's a little scene. I can flip back to the other scenes and so forth. Even and that looks cool. Even, yeah, even it's just not dual. Poppy. Right, and when right. you put it in here and look through, though, it's 3D. So do you want to hear? I'm gonna film you having right, okay, the seeing it for the first me. time. All right, here we go. I'm going to check out the movie and copy for the first time. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> All right, that's uh, that's crazy, that's crazy. Introduce yourselves, introduce yourselves, who are you? Hi, I'm Ethan Lowry, um, co-creator of Poppy. Poppy, yes, and? And I'm Joe Heitzberg, the other guy in this video. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right, guys, so tell me about just tell me about Poppy. Just, start, just kind of give me the, the lowdown on how you, how you Start, came up with the concept basically. Where did this even come from? As most people have probably played with those Viewmaster toys. Right. Um, and we had those like everybody else's kids and thought they were really cool. Um, and my, my grandfather actually had one of those old school 1800 stereoscopes that did uh, the same thing, but basically, uh, you know, black and white side by side stereoscopic pictures you could look at and magically be in 3D. Okay. And it turns out that stuff was immensely popular a hundred years ago. Like in the 3D, 1800s they did yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, no, starting 1838, a guy, wow. yeah, this guy yeah, invented this thing, actually before commercial photography was available. So we're talking about ancient, ancient history. But so what is Poppy? So Poppy is basically the idea of doing that, like the Viewmaster, you can capture 3D, or sorry, you can view 3D, but you can also capture. So you're you're capturing a pair of stereoscopic images, a pair of images, and then viewing that um, on on your iPhone. So, so why is this so amazing? Because I look around, and this is how I see in real life anyway, all the time I, I see in 3D. The reason is because you're seeing a portal to another world, right? You're, you're now seeing what someone else has captured. So you feel like you're transported somewhere else or to a different point in time. Basically, if I look in there, I see the iPhone camera lens and behind there, and then so explain this piece to me. Yeah, so so this part back here is what you're viewing through. This part is what lets you capture. So it's mirrors that are set up to split. The, this mirror captures what the left eye sees, or the right eye rather. This captures what the left eye sees, and it then splits it on a central mirror right in front of the, the camera lens. So basically this front box is lined up with the iPhone's camera okay. and turns the iPhone's single view into that split image that you saw. No batteries. There's no batteries in here. It's just a box. This is literally a, a fine-tuned mirror system That's right, yeah. for your iPhone, and, yeah. and it has such an amazing effect. Yeah. You don't have to recharge it. You don't have to buy batteries. And that's why you guys were able to make it so inexpensive, right? That's so explain exactly that right. to me, because it's on Kickstarter right now. Yeah. When does it end? Kickstarter is over at the end of next week, so the 25th is 
the last full day of Kickstarter. That's next, next Thursday. Thursday. Next Thursday is yeah. the last day you can get it. Okay. And uh, and on Kickstarter we're selling it for forty nine dollars. Now after Kickstarter the price is going to go up. Retail is going to be sixty nine dollars. Um, but for the next week you can still get this thing um, this low price because it's just plastics and and mirror the mirrors the central mirror is actually glass because this is the one that really matters you're, you're looking at something that doesn't need to have a lot of electronics and doesn't need to have an expensive screen or camera because the iPhone provides all that for us so we're basically riding on the coattails of all the iPhones screen resolution and camera quality right. to give you this great experience and this really kind of immersive thing without any electronics so was this uh, this pretty much what's going to look like or is it going to be this is exactly what it'll look like exactly this it. is okay. a a pre-production product um well i should caveat we are making some slight changes which aren't really worth going into okay. the way that we have this cartridge adapter so that we can work with the 4 the 4s the 5 and the ipod touch okay. um and this adapter the way you get in and out here we thought was a little hard so we're going to extend it over the edge here where there'll be a very obvious thumb tab okay little changes like that but overall aesthetics like yeah, this, this is, is the actual classic abs with the texture, you know, the way it reflects light off there. Mm -hmm. This color, that inset, the, the dividing line here, all those things will be exactly like okay. this. The type of screw that's used in there, everything, you know, even to that level of detail will be just like that. Yeah, and the Kickstarter ends when? Thursday, not, well, Friday morning before you wake up. So really Thursday, end of day. You remember, this is the most popular camera in the world now. Yes. And what's cool about it isn't anything to do with photography as we traditionally think of it. What's cool about it is you've always got it on you and you can capture your moments with your friends super easily. Boom, your food, right. whatever. So there's that. And the other was the Viewmaster, as he was saying. It was cool when you were a kid to step into another world, to look in and say, oh, it's Disneyland, you know, but in that feeling. But you're not the creator there, so that's totally right. uncool. So if you could marry the coolness of always having this, but capturing those types of scenes mm -hmm. and sharing them, that's Poppy. So there you have it, the story behind Poppy. If you want to get in on the Kickstarter, head over to kickstarter.com, just search for Poppy, and be sure you back the project before Friday. So we're talking about, if you, if you really want to make sure you get one, July 25th, this Thursday, get in your backing if you want to be one of the first to have Poppy delivered directly to you. We've got more from Ethan and Joe coming in a future video. We talked to them about some Kickstarter strategies and the things that they've learned um, that you may be able to use if you're thinking of uh, doing a Kickstarter project yourself. But for now, that's Poppy. I'm Andrew Edwards. We appreciate you sharing the video, liking the video, and of course, commenting. Until next time, I'm Andrew Edwards. Stay tuned for more tech news through the eyes of GearLive.com.